Hi YouTube! It's been a while. Thank you so much for your patience waiting for this vlog. Um, I've had a super hectic start to 2021, which um, I'm going to go into a little bit in this vlog. Kind of catch you guys up on what I've been doing, what I've been up to, what I've been making. I've been making lots. Um, yeah, thank you so much for your patience and for all the comments and messages I've had asking when my next vlog will be out. It's really been motivating and heartwarming that you guys <laughs> want more vlogs. It's so great. Um, I just wanted to kick this video off also by saying a massive, massive thank you to my patrons who are such a source of inspiration to me. I'm just so thankful for all of your constant support, um, especially over the last few months I've really needed it, so thank you guys for just being the most warm-hearted people in the whole world. <laughs> Secondly, I am switching things up a little bit here on YouTube. Um, instead of doing weekly vlogs, I'm actually going to be putting out vlogs every month, so the vlog that you're watching now is of footage from January and then I'm going to be doing one um, every month this year is the plan and then in between that time I'm also going to be working on loads of really fun creative projects which I'm hoping that we can make and go through the process of together. Um, I'm really really excited about loads of things I have um, lined up and I've been working on super hard behind the scenes on for YouTube um, and I really really hope that you guys like them too, there's going to be a lot more kind of DIY, upcycling, just like making things, I really, I think something that was really highlighted for me last year with Covid and being at home and everything <laughs> um, is how much I get out of making things, whether that's painting or sewing or any other creative pursuit, so yeah. That's definitely something that I'm going to be exploring more of on this channel, um, as well as all of the usual shop update things. I had a massive shop update um, at the end of January, which is now live. Um, so many new exciting products. I actually got a sublimation printer and a heat press, which I am going to show you like how I set it all up and the first kind of little bit of trial and error making new products with that um, which has been so fun and intensely rewarding making things like mouse mats and pencil cases is it's been on my to-do list for a really long time so that feels really fulfilling and I hope that you guys like it that kind of leads me neatly onto the biggest thing that I've done since we last spoke which was actually mid-December it's been a while um, I have my own website shop now on um, tinkoutsidethebox.com if you want to check it out. Um, I worked super hard on building my own online shop. Again, this has been such a big goal for me for such a long time. You've probably heard me go on and on about this in previous vlogs and otherwhere on the internet. Otherwhere? Elsewhere on the internet. Um, I've been so excited to launch my own shop and it's so nice to have like creative control over how everything looks is it's hard work but I'm loving it so far. Um, I built my website on Squarespace, not sponsored but if you're watching send me an email because <laughs> I'd love to work with you guys. Um, yeah it's not sponsored or anything I just I've been running my normal website on Squarespace for the last three or four years. Basically when I first started doing illustration as a career, seriously, um, I set up a Squarespace website and it was actually incredibly easy to just add on the online shopping section and start um, putting products in. So yeah, I really hope that you guys like the outcome. Again, um, my Etsy shop is still open so if you'd rather shop on Etsy for whatever reason that's fine. Um, Again, I've talked about this in previous videos, but I think I'm always going to have an Etsy shop just because for me, the real power of Etsy is that it functions as a search engine. So for example, people could go, go to Etsy.com and type in art prints or like obviously a more specific version of that, but your work can get found through the search, which just mute my phone. <laughs> it's been a while since I filmed. Um, 
yeah, you can get found through search on Etsy, on Etsy and I still make a lot of sales that way. So I think I'll probably always have both platforms. I'm actually also launching a storefront on notonthehighstreet.com, which I'm so excited about. Um, that's probably going to be more February's vlog because January was mainly taken up with setting up my own shop and then um, updating Etsy as well. Um, yeah, so many exciting things. I'm going to stop talking <laughs> um, and yeah, jump into the vlog. Again, thank you so much for being here. If you're new around here, <laughs> I meant to say this right at the start. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Tink. I'm an illustrator based in the English countryside and so great to see you here. <laughs> Oh, and also, by the way, hope you like my new intro. Apparently I'm an official YouTuber now because I have an intro segment for my channel. So lucky you guys getting to watch that every video. <laughs> I hope you like it. Okay, I'm really, I'm gonna go and let you guys get into the vlog. Bye. <laughs> so it is, what day is it? It's a day of the week. I shut my shop a week ago. It's Thursday today. There you go. I did remember. All is not lost. Anyway, I shut my shop a week ago and these are the last orders. I've finally caught up. Um, I had to shut my shop because I was too busy. Whew, so massive relief. I know this is like a really small unassuming pile, but this is the end of a very, very busy month in my shop and a very busy week in particular. So super glad to have caught up and now I can start working on the shop update. Nice. I have just set up this table because these two massive parcels arrived, um, which is a brand new heat press and a new sublimation printer so I can sublimate things myself which is so exciting been working up to this for a really long time um, yes so I have dug up this old table and <laughs> so this is like where I'm sitting where I'm working hang on bear with okay it was way too bright for a minute I was like even just looking at myself recording I was blinded by it so anyway Put this massive table in the fireplace because this is where I'm sitting and working at the moment. I've got like my normal printer, my Cricut, my mug presses on the windowsill. Um, but what I want to do is set up my sublimation printer here, my big heat press here and then my mug heat press here. So that it's all kind of in the same spot. But I just wanted to show you how absolutely massive this fireplace is. This table is six foot long. It's a six foot trestle table. That's insane. And it like... You can't really see, but there's half of the depth of the table again. So, old houses, man. Crazy. So, I've got a nice clean table. And all of this is back to chaos once again. <laughs> because I had, like, some chairs in the fireplace that I was storing things on. So, that's all here. So, obviously, this is all going to be organised. I'm going to put some things under here to actually organise it. But, nice clean table for a nice fresh start.
A few moments later. This is my new cozy corner, by the way. My mum had this chair in her office at work for ages, but um, decided she didn't want it, so I have claimed it. Um, and it's just nice to have somewhere to sit other than my bed, because I found that I was working quite a bit when I was feeling a bit tired. I was working from bed, and just it's just nice to have somewhere else to to chill out, other than sitting in bed. So. Yeah, got a cosy little corner, got my bookcase here, all my inspiration, um, got this cute lamp from Ikea, and a little stool so that I can <laughs> watch TV while I work. Yeah, pretty cosy. later. I'm so happy with these self-care tokens. I think they're so cute. Um, they say, this is where you're meant to be, and there's a happy little kitty on them, of course. I really hope you guys like them. Um, I'm loving sublimating new things. It's really fun. <laughs> I've had so much new stock arriving um, that everything is kind of all over the place. I really need to sort out my packing room. I don't know if my head's in the frame. I need to sort out my packing room. So I think I'm going to do that now. I've been so freaking excited about these arriving. These are my new ceiling stickers. Ooh. Helps if you get the focus the right way. 
Look how cute! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So my plan is that the top of every order, like this is going to be the first thing that people see when they open the envelope or the box. I think they're so cute, I really hope you guys like them. Um, waste not, want not, put that back there. And the other ones I have are smaller. Oh, and I'm ripping them. Bear with. And then I have these little sausage dogs, which are obviously drawn after my mini dachshund truffle. But yeah, I really hope you like them. And I am so freaking excited to start packing orders with these. And I hope that you guys like receiving them. I have all these lovely new ceiling stickers for packing. And they come in these little quote unquote dispenser boxes which don't really work you can see they get stuck to the lid which is really irritating so just wanted to show you guys my <laughs> my makeshift way of making a little dispenser roll for you and you can make this out of any cardboard box like it doesn't have to be one that was designed for it and all you need is a pen that you're willing to sacrifice for the time being so just gonna put the roll on here try and put it like in the middle ish and then just draw around it roughly so you've got a little circle marking the middle do the same on the other side like that and then because you want the pen, the pen to hold it up you have to think about it's going to be coming out of this bit so just put a cross at the top of the circle in the middle and then just take some scissors be obviously be careful <laughs> but if you just kind of like make a little hole being very careful to not stab yourself obviously Then you just pop the roll of stickers back in the box. Try and roughly line it up so the holes where you think it's going to be. Stick the pen through, and then yay! It just rolls out like that. Super easy. And then I'm going to rebuild the little box. Put that guy back in there. That's not going to go. Anyway. Yay! It works. These also just arrived. New thank you cards. Um, that's going to be super blurry. New thank you cards. I wanted to get new ones because obviously um, my shop is now being run from my website. So I wanted to get some that didn't have an Etsy branding on them and then obviously every time I not obviously every time I order <laughs> uh, more thank you cards I get a different design on the back because I have a lot of repeat customers a lot of lovely repeat customers and I want them to have a different print every time so yeah it's the sausage dog truffle as well <laughs>
You know when you write something on your to-do list and you're like, no worries, do that in about ten and a half seconds. I have just spent the last two hours <laughs> laying out a new sticker pack on Cricut. Um, hang on, I'm going to try and show you. So this is going to be a magic woodland themed sticker pack. I'm just watching Anusha Syed's studio vlogs. Um, oh my gosh, this has taken me an insane amount of time to lay out. There, as you can see, there are a lot of moving parts. Obviously, this grey background. Um, that's just like a guide to show me where the printable area is. But this has literally taken me two hours to do. So I have so much, <laughs> so much left to do today. Um, so I'm gonna actually make these stick packs finally. <laughs> magic woodland sticker packs like everything in my shop they're plastic free they're in little glassine bags with a little header um yeah i hope you guys like them something that i've really changed over the last six months in my shop is the level of organization that i have and honestly most of this is born out of necessity because i have a much higher volume of orders now which is incredible and I'm so grateful um, it basically means that I'm trying to work smarter not harder um, so I'm doing things like taking the time to actually individually pack all of these scarves they've just come in um, and this just saves me a huge amount of time when I then get orders in I can just go along the shelf and pick up all the stock that I want to pack um, and a lot of it is already packed, so I then just wrap it up nicely and pop it in the envelope. So, yeah, it's it's definitely streamlining my packing process. Honestly, I feel like this is going to be an ongoing process for the entire duration of my shop, um, no matter how long I run it for, and hopefully it will be a long time, obviously. Um... So yeah, that's th but that's one of the biggest changes that I've made over the last six months in particular. Coping with the Christmas rush was pretty crazy this year. Um, so I'm definitely a lot more organized with how I store my stock. Um, and also I have so many more product lines now. I think I have over 200 individual products that I list on my shop, which is crazy to me. Um, so yeah, being organized is so helpful and at this point is a necessity really new scarf who this this is my newest um <laughs> sorry what a punker i am um yeah this is the newest addition to my shop cosmic scarves i'm so excited <laughs> the colors are so bright um yeah, if you've been following my channel or following me elsewhere on the internet for a while, you will have seen the mushroom scarves that I made last year. Um, and they were incredibly successful, surprisingly so. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd kick off the new year with a little cosmic accompaniment. And they actually look super nice when you wear them together as well. Because I love colour, <laughs> as you know. <laughs> just wanted to pop in and say the biggest thank you in the whole world to everyone that has ordered from my new shop my website um i have been delightfully busy with orders and 
it's even more fulfilling to send them out from my own shop um you've definitely kept me busy packing and I am going to show more of that process probably in next month's vlog because uh, most of this vlog was actually filmed before my shop update which happened on January 31st um but yeah I really hope that you have liked seeing the new things that I've been working on again more of that next month's vlog but in the meantime if you want to see what else I've been up to you can head over to tinkoutsidethebox.com and I'm going to put a link in the description but yeah just like the biggest most heartfelt thank you to everyone that has made an order from my shop you guys are making my art career a reality and that is no small thing to me so thank you again <laughs> um i hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you for sticking around to the end if you have stuck around to the end um yeah i'm gonna be doing monthly vlogs and they're probably gonna be a bit longer because i'm gonna have more footage they're gonna take a lot longer to edit so i'm gonna try and get better at editing as well <laughs> um but thank you so much for watching this video go ahead and like and subscribe if you have enjoyed yourself because this is very much the kind of videos that i make um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video, which is going to be out very soon. Bye. <laughs>